That women have as good a claim as men have in point of personal right to the suffrage or to a place in the jewellery box, it would be difficult for anyone to deny. Even those who do not look upon a voice in government as a matter of personal right have usually traditional maxims of political justice with which it is impossible to reconcile the exclusion of women from the common rights of citizenship. It is an axiom of English freedom that taxation and representation should be coextensive. Even under the laws which give the wife's property to her husband, there are many unmarried women who pay taxes. In all things, the presumption ought to be on the side of equality. A reason must be given why anything should be permitted to one person and denied to another. We are firmly convinced that the division of mankind into two castes, one born to rule over the other, is in this case an unqualified mischief, a source of perversion and demoralisation both to the favoured class and those who expense they are favoured. The chief obstacle is that most formidable one, custom. Women never have had equal rights with men. Over three-fourths of the habitable world, even at this day, the answer, it has always been so, closes all discussion. But it is the boast of modern Europeans and of their American kindred that they know and do many things which their forefathers neither knew nor did. Habit is not now the tyrant it formerly was over opinions and modes of action, and the worship of custom is a declining idolatry. We deny the right of any portion of the species to decide for another portion what is and what is not their proper sphere. The proper sphere for all human beings is the largest and highest which they are able to attain to. Let every occupation be open to all, without favour or discouragement to any, and employments will fall into the hands of those men or women who are found by experience to be most capable of worthily exercising them. There need be no fear that women will take out of the hands of men any occupation which men perform better than they. Each individual will prove his or her capabilities in the only way in which capabilities can be proved, by trial, and the world will have the benefit of the best faculties of all its inhabitants.